This is the weekly prayer time for Northview United Methodist Church for the week of March the 13th. I'm Pastor Doug. Our scripture this week is Psalm 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the evil doers assail me to devour my flesh, my adversaries and foes, they shall stumble and fall. Though an army encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war rise up against me, yet I will be confident. One thing I ask of the Lord, that I will seek after, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord, and to inquire in his temple. For he will hide me in his shelter in the day of trouble. He will conceal me under the cover of his tent. He will set me high on a rock. Now my head is lifted up above my enemies all around me, and I will offer in his tent sacrifices and shouts with joy. I will sing and make melody to the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry aloud. Be gracious to me and answer me. Come, my heart says, seek his face. Your face, Lord, do I seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You who have been my help, do not cast me off. Do not forsake me, O God of my salvation. If my father and mother forsake me, the Lord will take me up. Teach me your way, O Lord, and lead me on a level path because of my enemies. Do not give me up to the will of my adversaries, for false witnesses have risen against me, and they are breathing out violence. I believe that I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord, be strong, and let your heart take courage. Wait for the Lord. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. For those of you watching on social media, Please post your joys, concerns, and prayer updates in the comment section below. You can also text, private message, email, or call me with those, and they will be included in our next prayer time. A number of people have asked about um, what we can do to help people of the Ukraine. The United Methodist Committee on Relief is overseeing some efforts in that area and you can make contributions to them through Northview Church. We've circulated some emails and some posts on social media about how to do that. Um, If you've not seen these, you can call the church and get further details. For our joys, um, our worship attendance has been the highest um, it has been in two years in the recent months. Uh, That is something that we celebrate. We greatly appreciated having the Radford singers with us last Sunday. Um, Their angelic voices truly fed the souls of those who were there. If you've not seen that performance, you can watch it on either YouTube or Facebook. For our prayer concerns, uh, we offer prayers to the family of Charlotte Broyles, who was one of our members, who passed away um, earlier this week. Gary Lambert's aunt, Evelyn Wine, who was 90, passed away on Sunday night at Brookdale Nursing Home. Silas Holland, who is Peggy Smith's father, has also died this week. Um, And we offer prayers of uh, condolence and support to all of these three families. Mary Grace Boyknot's sister-in-law, Sandra Boyknot, is under hospice care. We offer prayers for Sandra and for her family. And Doug Forrester, our district superintendent, um, wrote these words. Please pray for the peace that passes all understanding to reign in the hearts of those victimized by war and in the hearts of those who make war until the day comes when all the world knows peace, justice, and God shalom. We also lift up any unspoken concerns that are on your hearts and minds this week. Our prayer is based on our scripture passage from Psalm 27. Dear Lord, we fear what may be lurking in the shadows. You illuminate the darkness. 
so we can see what really lies before us. We allow our weakness to prevent us from taking action. Strength is found in the solid foundation you provide. Disease and injuries devour our flesh. Hear us when we cry aloud for those who feel alienated from the land of the living. Work through our acts of kindness and mercy as we care for those in agony. Lift the heads of any who have been beaten low Provide sanctuary for people seeking asylum. When the ugliness of life torments us, allow us to gaze upon your beauty within your sacred places. We believe in your goodness. This congregation shall sing and make melody as we worship you. This prayer is offered in your name as we pray as you directed us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen.